Hey everyone, I'm so excited about this video. I'm going to try and contain myself, but Arrow have made some announcements over the last few days that is big news to me. They are adding some new 4K UHD titles to their catalogue. There are two films that they're adding in 4K releases and I'm so excited. So I'm going to talk a bit about those in this video and I'm going to say why I think this is such a big deal for boutique Blu-ray labels and then 4K as a format because I think with what Arrow is doing it's going to signify to other labels that haven't jumped to 4K, not mentioning any names but we know who we're talking about there, it's going to signal to them that they really need to get their butt in gear and start releasing some 4K titles or they're going to be left in the dust. And what I think this will have an effect on is it's going to mean 4K will stick around for a lot longer, particularly in the boutique market. So the first one, this is so exciting and I know a lot of people have been wanting this for years and years, just on a normal Blu-ray, not even on a 4K Blu-ray. It's the film Crash from David Cronenberg. Now, I'm going to admit I haven't seen Crash, and there's a good reason, because I was talking to my friend Sam the other day, and, and like me, he thinks that some films you should wait to watch them in great quality. So I have a big list of films that aren't on Blu-ray yet, aren't on 4K Blu-ray for sure, and I'm just waiting for them to get a release before I watch them. Many people have said to me, you know, you can watch Crash on an old DVD, but I think even that's hard to get a hold of. And people will tell me, you can watch this film on YouTube, you can download it on a torrent from somewhere, I don't know. And I just don't want to do that. I want to wait for it to be in great quality on a disc where I don't have to stream it, and I don't have to worry about anything going wrong with the picture quality or the audio quality. So that is why I haven't seen Crash from David Cronenberg yet, even though I do consider myself quite the fan, quite the supporter of Cronenberg. There are so many films that he's made that I love, such as Videodrome and The Brood. I love one of his recent ones, Map to the Stars. I really enjoyed that. It's very strange. So I'm a big fan of Cronenberg. The Fly. How can I not mention The Fly? There's, and Scanners. And the, there's so many. So many. So I'm not going to talk about all of them. I know there's been a 4K release in Germany. Um, but I, I haven't seen that release. I, I don't know what that's like at all. But I'm definitely getting the Arrow release day one. It's so exciting. So let's let's see what's actually on this. So it's retailing for £30 on a pre-order on their website at the moment. With it being 4K, it is, of course, region free. There's no region locking. So, you know, that means if, if you're outside of the UK, you can you can import this without any any worries or, or anything like that. So obviously this crash is from a brand new 4K restoration of the uncut NC17 version, supervised by David Cronenberg and director of photography Peter Sushitsky. So that's very exciting because this means it's going to look how the director and the DOP envisioned it originally. So this is going to be like the ultimate presentation of this film. So just fingers crossed Arrow don't mess it up in any way. But I could see this being one of the best 4K releases of the whole year. So definitely one to keep your eye on. Audio is 5.1, 2.0 stereo DTS. So there's no, you know there's no Dolby Atmos or anything like that. Uh, brand new audio commentary from Adrian Martin, who gives great commentaries. There's a new interview with Peter Sashitsky. There's a new interview with executive producer Jeremy Thomas. Gosh, there's so many interviews on this. Tons of archival interviews. There's an essay on Cronenberg. There's a full illustrated collector's booklet. Fold-out double poster. And then the limited edition packaging and reversible sleeve on the artwork. So this release, not only is it a great 4K release, but they've also stacked the extras. And I assume the packaging is going to be very nice as well. This is one to watch, guys. If, if you're not watching this one, I, I don't know what to say. Because th this is very exciting for the future of 4K in the boutique Blu-ray market. Like I said, hopefully this will signify to certain other labels here in the UK and in the US 
that the move to 4K is definitely something worth doing. If you're enjoying this video about 4K Blu-rays and Arrow video, please do consider subscribing to the channel because this is what this channel is all about. It's all about 4K Blu-rays and Arrow video, Criterion Collection, you name it. So it would be great to have you as part of this community and you would hear about these videos as soon as they get uploaded. Anyway, let's get back to talking about those 4K releases. So that's Crash, which I'm very, very excited for, if you can't tell. But the other 4K announcement that they did, and I'm so happy that they're now on a schedule of doing two 4K releases a month, is King of New York. This is the Abel Ferreira film starring Christopher Walken and a, a whole slew of other great actors. And this is a great film. I absolutely loved this years and years ago when Arrow Video actually released the original Blu-ray. Uh, I've reversed the sleeve on this. Uh, this was a blind buy for me back in 2016 or 15, when, whenever I got this. And I love the film. The film's so enjoyable. It's Christopher Walken. He's a bit wacky, obviously. It's just, it's just so much fun. But I do remember at the time thinking that the Blu-ray left a bit to be desired. And, and I know other people have commented on the fact that this 1080p presentation is not totally amazing so for them to announce this king of new york 4k restoration it's very exciting because it means that it, it's going to justify double dipping on this release so if you have this already and you're a fan of the film then i'm expecting a massive increase in terms of the picture quality and the sound quality and the film's just going to look great hopefully so again, yes, this is a restoration supervised by director Abel Ferreira and cinematographer Bojan Bazelli. So again, like Crash, you're getting the input of the people that made this film originally. So hopefully there'll be no, you know, sometimes with these restorations, there's a lot of tinkering with the colour temperature of the whole film and certain things in terms of the grading will be totally messed up. But, the, you know, this is how the films are meant to be seen, according to the filmmakers. Oh, and I forgot to mention that the price for this one is £22, not 30 like Crash. I'm expecting that's because this will probably just have a slip cover. It's not going to have, like, a big, a big thick case. But I might be wrong. It might just be priced differently because of how much it's cost them to make. So it's a 4K UHD Blu-ray presentation in Dolby Vision, HDR10 compatible, LPCM original stereo and remixed DTS HD MA 5.1 surround audio options. There's an audio commentary by Ferreira, audio commentary with the composer, producer, casting director and editor. There's a bunch of interviews, there's a documentary looking back at Ferreira's career and there's reversible sleeve with the new artwork. So again, this is so exciting. It's it's so good to see labels like Arrow, you know, dipping their, not just dipping their feet in the 4K market. It's almost like Arrow are going headfirst into it because they're releasing two a month. This is absolutely brilliant. And the Pitch Black release, which I still haven't received, I've not got Pitch Black yet, but that is meant to look amazing. And people are very happy with that Pitch Black Arrow video release. Like I said at the top of this video, the reason this is so exciting to me is that if smaller labels like Arrow are taking a risk on releasing these 4K discs, then they must be able to afford it. And what I mean by that is in the past, labels have stayed away from 4K because they, they thought that the cost of producing the disc was too high compared to a Blu-ray because there's a whole different process in terms of authoring the disc. And obviously the restoration and the scan is a lot more expensive. So I think labels were put off by that. And then also they probably looked at the market and said that not enough people have adopted 4K players and 4K TVs. But I think that's all changing. That's changing because a lot more people now have 4K TVs in their home because they're a lot more affordable than they were a few years ago. I think more and more people are getting 4K players and this will definitely change when Sony released the PlayStation 5 because that is going to have a built-in 4K player if you get the disk drive edition of the console. So that will mean that, you know, there's a bigger market already with people having players in their home. 
let's be honest, if you're watching this video, you're into a very niche subset of movie watching and movie collecting. That kind of audience, I think, doesn't go away. Like people that are into collecting Criterion and Arrow video and 4K releases, it's not the kind of thing that dwindles. You know, we're diehard collectors. You know, we love this kind of stuff and we're going to keep collecting it as long as they keep making these kind of releases. And it's worth pointing out, if the bigger labels are not going to be releasing films on disc anymore, that might even free up the releasing rights, the licensing rights for these smaller labels. And we've seen that over the past few years, Arrow Video getting bigger and bigger titles for releasing on Blu-ray. Like I know a lot of people have found the the postcards that Arrow put in their releases, they're like clues for what could come soon. People have found uh, Inglorious Bastards from Tarantino. People have found Wolf of Wall Street from Scorsese. These are massive films that, you know, they're, they're pretty much mainstream films. These would sell tons and tons of copies. So for Arrow to be getting these kind of releases, you know, imagine if they're working on a Inglorious Bastards 4K release or Wolf of Wall Street 4K. That'll sell gangbusters. So it's looking good. It's looking good if you're a 4K collector, if you're a boutique Blu-ray collector, which I imagine you are if you're watching this video. It's very good. The future's looking bright. So if you're still here, thank you very much for watching this video. Do let me know your thoughts on these new Arrow Video 4K announcements and what your thoughts are on 4K in general and, and where you see the market going over the next year or two. Because I, like I said, I'm optimistic and I'm very, very excited about all of this. Before I go, I want to say a big thank you to my Patreon supporters over at patreon.com slash boutique Blu-rays particularly my Fellini fanatic, that's Dustin. It's a great support. Thank you very much for being a part of my Patreon. And hopefully, you know, we can get this channel going to some very new, exciting places in the future. If you're not a part of the Patreon already, you can go and check over the perks that you can get for subscribing, including exclusive videos and uh, being a part of this community Facebook group that we have as well. I'll be back very soon with more videos about boutique Blu-rays and collecting and, and stuff like that. If you want to stick around on the channel, by all means, check out some of the videos that are going to be suggested to you now, because I'm sure you can find some other good recommendations in those. I'll be back very soon, so until then, stay well and keep watching great films.